what's going on guys welcome back um i'm not having the greatest of days but i still have to get these reactions out plus this will get my mind off of stuff um and it mainly has to do with stuff with the channel um i'm trying to figure out ways to get my videos out faster because my video editor is doing this crazy thing where it's leaving static in my um in my recordings if you go back a few um, videos and watch my uploads to YouTube um, not the ones on the Google Drive but just for the ones that I upload to YouTube because I have to edit those and put the, the intros and the, the reviews together um, and then render them out but it's leaving this static thing um, if you listen to the audio you'll hear it the static in the background uh, it's kind of distorting my voice sometimes and stuff like that and it it's only happening that's not how it's recorded it's just that that's how the program is rendering out my stuff and it's bugging me because now i'm gonna have to to find a new player because there's no fix for it for this um video editor and stuff like that so um i've always wanted to go and you know go back to using premiere um so i'm probably going to have to fork out the money to get premiere but we'll see how things go anyways haiku we're finishing up the season today um two more episodes left in the season 24 and 25 um we're in the middle of a match um so people told me that um this um episode 24 was the last off it we we're gonna see who won so we'll see how things go i didn't know that so if I did know that, I probably would have just reacted to it last time. Um, but I didn't know that. Okay. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, let's just jump into these two episodes and then I'll have season one review right after. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. See y'all for the review. All right, guys, this is my season one review of Haikyuu. Um, first off, let me say this. This is a very good series. It's a very good series. It's great. Great series. It definitely has the feeling of, you know, telling me that why this has such a huge following, you know, it definitely confirmed that for me because I was wondering, you know, why Haikyuu has such a huge following. Um, I just never got to watching it. So it was like, um, so now that I'm in it, you know, coming from someone who has played volleyball, um, you know, back in school, in school competitively, I can tell you that, you know what I'm saying? They're on point. They're doing it the right way. Um, but also the other elements behind it, behind the scenes, the 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 um the camaraderie. You know what I mean? Like the last sports anime I do, which I'm still doing on the channel, by the way. Um, doing the manga chapters is Ippo. You know, and that was a single it's a single man sport. You know what I'm saying? It's a single sport, you know. It's not a it's not a team sport. So this is my first experience with a team sport anime. So to see how they do it, it very much reminds me of when I was playing sports back in school and the camaraderie, the of course you all you know what I'm saying? Like the thing about it is like they have one character in the show that representative of a thing that is way more prevalent. I, is, is it prevalent? Is that... Is that the word? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Um, Suki represents the type of dude on the team that's like... If you notice, he's the only one that wasn't crying at the table. Because it doesn't mean that much to him. And you always got a couple of people. Sometimes even more than a couple on the team that is like Suki. So I'm glad that they added that element in the show. I'm hoping that he comes around to understand 
this team camaraderie. I think I I still think that he's pretending to be this way because it's usually it's usually the problem. You 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 do have people that will be on the team that's just playing just because oh I you know I have to play a sport so I'm playing a sport. You know what I mean? I don't think it's that for Tsukishima. I think for him. I think he enjoys playing, but he doesn't really want to show it. He don't want to be all vulnerable and stuff like that. You know, the the one that's always, be, you know, want to be all, you know, the fake alpha males. And that's what I call them, the fake alpha males that think that they don't need to cry and they don't need to, you know, do all of this sort of stuff. Those are the fake alpha males, right? So he comes off as that type of character, but, I, but he actually... I do, I really think that he cares about playing volleyball. If he didn't care, trust me, he wouldn't show up to practices. He wouldn't, you get what I'm saying? He wouldn't be giving his all. He probably would have just shrugged off um, Kageyama during that match when Kageyama, you know, was hesitating to ask him questions about how he wants the ball and stuff like that. Like, if he didn't care, he would have just walked away. You get what I mean? So there's little things that are telling me that he actually cares. He's just putting on this macho attitude, you know. Um, sometimes it's a little bit unbearable, but it is what it is, right? So, um, so I'm glad that they put that kind of element in here too. Like, you know what I mean? I'm glad how they, um, I like how they put the team together, introducing the third years to kind of create that kind of tension because they're about to graduate and to go on to their next level of education. And that's a dilemma that high schoolers face even today. You get what I'm saying? And that's something that we had to deal with too back in school before we left school and stuff like that. Um, whereas in when it's time to graduate, you're kind of like, what should I concentrate on? Because a lot of sports that you play in school is, you know, most people are not planning to do that professionally. You get what I'm saying? Unless they're like really, really good. You get what I'm saying? Like only the best of the best will move on to do certain sports professionally. So you know this. Like if, even if that's your dream, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you really got to weigh your options and be like, well, I'm good at this too. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, what do I really want to be? Do I really want to be a professional you know, playing, you know, American football, basketball, whatever the sport is, because certain sports, they don't get played year round. It's not seasonal. You get what I'm saying? Like something like, like volleyball, you probably, the biggest stage in volleyball is probably the Olympics. You get what I'm saying? The biggest stage in basketball is the NBA. You get what I'm saying? So it could be local or it could be international. You know what I mean? Like, when you're talking about soccer, soccer is just on a whole different level. Soccer, cricket, and stuff like that, which are international plays year round, you know, but there's a lot of other sports that you will like. If you watch the Olympics, there's a lot of other sports that you never really hear about, but they're there. They're competition all year round, but they're not as popular. You get what I'm saying? So you do have these little competitions that they will do during the year, but they're not as big, they're not televised. And stuff like that throughout the years to, you know, so it doesn't have that kind of popularity, whereas in you're getting paid millions to play, you know. So do you really want to do that professionally? Because is that going to really, you know what I'm saying? It's a big decision, you know. So I'm glad that they included that element at the end of the season um, for the third years. I didn't expect them to leave. It wouldn't have made, it wouldn't have made, it would have made sense in the natural progression of things, but also I wouldn't like to see them leave because this is your last chance to play before you graduate and to leave the, the team shorthanded at a moment later. You're talking about your um your best backup setter, your best um your second best receiver and your captain and and also I mean the manager doesn't do that much um, but also one of your biggest, um, spikers, right? So your ace. So you, you, in a way, you know what I mean? In a way you would be losing too much at the same time for all three of them to give up, you know, 
it just wouldn't it would have been a little bit out of character for them too if they had went that direction it would have devastated the team for them not coming back and keeping the team together i don't know if they're gonna add anyone maybe at the end of the year you know um when they leave maybe after the next tournament after the spring tournament they're going to introduce new characters i don't know i don't know what's going to happen um but you know i don't know how long are they going to be there i don't know are they still on the team in season four i don't know i don't know don't tell me let me find out for myself um because if this spring tournament is spring tournament going to last three seasons i don't know maybe anime likes to stretch stuff out i don't know so we'll see how things go i'm just hyped because this anime has all the elements you need it makes you cry sometimes the osts are awesome everything about this anime just screams greatness that's what i have to say and i have to say for the beginning season of haikyuu i had zero problems or no complaints whatsoever about this anime the, they're telling a concise story about a team rising to greatness them experiencing their first loss at the end of season one of course it devastated a lot of viewers but at the same time they still went for it they could have just let them be winners 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 but it's good that they're experiencing a loss as a team you get what i'm saying and also the idea of the entire thing of the entire anime and the underlying lessons to be learned are also great. So, season one gets a 10 out of 10 from Terabyte Reacts, okay? 10 out of 10. I don't see any flaws with this anime. As I said, I'm not here. I don't expect a sport anime to have a great story. They might have great backstories to tell about characters, but I don't expect it to have no deep story or anything like that. There are deeper meanings of stuff that are being taught, deeper lessons, but not a deep story as in a huge amount of lore and all of this. No, 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 no. I'm not expecting that from a sports anime. So for me, 10 out of 10 for a, um, for a sports anime and what they're trying to portray through these characters, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. So yes, that is my assessment of haikyuu i love the anime can't wait for season two hopefully we can get that start next week appreciate you guys thank you guys always for being here supporting this um i think our i think the first video hit about eight eight hundred eight hundred um views so i'm happy for that i think it's like 700 and something i, I don't i don't remember exactly but um, it's somewhere up there, you know, there was a drop off during the season, of course, you know, but I think our average for Haikyuu is somewhere around 300 to 400 views. So that was pretty, pretty good. You know what I mean? Um, so I really do appreciate y'all for showing love, for hitting that like button, for leaving comments. I appreciate y'all continue to do so as we move along in this anime hopefully we can catch up before they do season five because i know they're in the middle of season four right now i think so hopefully we can catch up before they do season five or even before they finish season four we'll see how things go but anyways i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always hit that like button leave a comment subscribe if you're new it's your boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace